Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip with another video in the series of what's in my EDC kit. I'm doing a series of videos highlighting all the items that are in my everyday carry kit and I'm going to concentrate on one item, actually five items in this video and that is my sewing kit. My, when you think of a sewing kit you probably think of things like needle, thread, scissors, pins. Okay. My needles are right here in the center lining of this folding everyday carry pouch. Now you'll notice there are two pins. That is something new. The second pin is something new. If you've seen my older videos, I only have one pin. The reason I put two in there is I just put this second one in this morning. And that's why I'm doing a video on this is because I had to actually use my sewing kit last week. And when I went to use it, I ended up doing this to the needle. Uh, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail, but let's just say I had a metal tube that needed to connect to a cord, and I had to push this needle through a hole in the tube to affect the repair. The problem was is the hole was not much bigger than this needle. So I was having a tough time getting it through the hole and through the cord and back through the hole, and I kept putting stitches in there and pretty soon it got to the point where I could not push that needle through. So I ended up destroying this needle. So after this video, this needle is going to get tossed. I replaced it with another one and if, to prevent that from happening again, I put a second shorter, thinner needle in here so I don't have that problem ever again. As for pins, I don't carry any straight pins. I do carry a couple of safety pins basically connected to the center edge of the kit here itself. I just ran them through there. And in a pinch, you can use these as sewing pins to hold two pieces of material together while you hand stitch it. Well, we need thread, don't we? So here is my thread collection. And what I did was I took a piece of cardboard that I cut out that would fit this area in the back, and then I put notches in it, and then I wound three foot of various colors of thread. Black, red, blue, white, brown, orange, yellow, green, tan, and purple. I think sometime the next time I use this, I'll add gray to this as well. So that should cover pretty much everything. This is just a piece of cardboard with them wrapped around. And what I did was I seal it up to keep the loose ends from unraveling and making a mess. So if I ever have to use this, I can use the scissors to cut this open with. And what do I have for scissors? That is a pair of Dritz Model 177 folding scissors. I looked at a lot of different folding scissors. I have a pair of Fiskars folding scissors, and I looked at some online reviews of scissors that were specifically designed and manufactured for everyday carry. The consensus I got was, and I'm not painting every EDC pair of scissors this way, but the consensus that I got on a lot of the scissors that are designed specifically for EDC use is they're a great idea, they just don't cut well. This is made by Dritz. The design is I don't know how many decades, if not centuries old, and Dritz is a quality company. They do produce quality material, and this is probably something you might have seen in your great-grandmother's or your grandmother's sewing kit in her house is this small pair of scissors. It's not a great pair of scissors. It doesn't do the same job as something like this. They're not comfortable because they're very, very thin. Even though you have a doubled up portion over here, they're not comfortable to use on your fingers, but you aren't going to be using these all day. Also, these finger holes are very, very small. I don't have a problem getting my thumb and, and index finger in there, but somebody with really large fingers may have some trouble with this. I will give you one piece of advice on these scissors. When you unfold them, all you have to do is pull out the finger loops and you have a functioning pair of scissors. But you can't just fold it up this way because then you will end up with that. So what you have to do to fold these up is hold the blades together while you fold one handle up and then grab the blades with another finger and fold the other finger hole up. 
that will get them back into their carry position. There is one other item that I do carry in this kit, and that is because I am not a youngster anymore. I do carry a needle threader in this kit. This has two different sizes of needle threaders in them. It's stainless steel, so it does flex a little bit. If you bend on it really hard, it will, it will permanently bend, but it's still nice and flat sitting in here in the kit. And the way this works is I will use this old needle as a demonstration and some thread here is you simply push this hook through the needle, drop your thread into the little hook, and pull back, and now you have a threaded needle. So those are the items that I carry in my kit for my emergency sewing. It's nothing fancy. I don't carry, at least not anymore, or not yet, I don't carry any other paraphernalia like buttons or things like that. But this is my sewing kit that I have in my EDC kit. This is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. Be safe out there, and I will see you out on the trail.